friends how are you in today's video we will see the steel production process and mill tolerances mill tolerances what are those do you know camber and sweep and do you know what are the steel fabrication processes suppose i have this book as a i section and if I bend like this. If it is bent like this, then it is the curve is created in the vertical plane. And if it is bent like this, the curve is created in the horizontal plane. This is the camber and sweep for W shape section. So if this is like this horizontal and the curve is created then this is the camber and if it is vertical and in vertical plane if curve is created then it is sweep and there is also cross-sectional out of shape tolerances like here the actual shape is different and the theoretical shape is different so there are calculations to take into account this mill tolerances and while detailing the soft while detailing the connection and do you know what is bill of lading and bill of sequence we will see that too i have also provided links for steel production from start to finish and shock fabrication operation the links for these two videos are given in the end of this video and also in the description box. Please watch them. So, we will see the today's topic. Motivation of the day. Do you give up the struggle to overcome your own limitations on the first attempt? Or do you keep on with it trying a second time? a third time and continuing in the challenge for the rest of your life that is the only difference between genius and ordinary person written by daisuku ikeda today we will see steel production mill tolerances calculation of rates bills for shipping and invoicing of finished parts CNC files and fabricating structural steel. This is how the steel is produced and the sections are produced like this in the shop. If you are more interested in steel production process, then the reference is making shaping and treating steel in AIST 1998. What are mill tolerances? It is permissible deviation from published dimension of cross-sectional profiles. And what are the factors responsible for mill tolerances? These are the high speed of rolling operations required to prevent metal before the rolling process has been completed. The varying skill of the operators especially during final rolling process. Then the deflection of the rolls during the rolling process. The gradual wearing of the rolls. It can result in some weight gain. The warping of steel in the process of cooling. The subsequent shrinkage in length of the shape that has been cut while hot. Steel retailer must know when to take mill tolerances into account, especially in ordering mill material and drawing the connections. He must be familiar with the several tolerances like camber, like curve in vertical plane, sweep, it is curve in horizontal plane, straightening, it is all members are straightened at mill after rolling either by rotary 
or gag to meet required male tolerances and he must be cognizant of the permissible variations in depth of the beam and out of square of the beam flanges in order to locate connections material shock welded to the column we will see example of this cross section variances that result in beam being deeper or shallower than theoretical are often referred to as beam depth tolerances and similarly cross section variances that result in the corners of member being further away from or closer to their theoretical depth such as may result from wide flange members having to their flanges tilted are referred to as out of square tolerances fitting of connection material by fabricator is one opportunity to address these issues prior to erection but often has minor effects upon connection design examples include short slotted versus standard holes filler plates and reduce or increase edge distances like here this is shock welded filled bolted moment connection connecting column wave so here these plates are welded to the column and filled bolted to the flanges and wave of the beam the connection is such that all fasteners are accessible by impact wrench tightening and location of shop attached fittings on column must allow for rolling mill tolerances like that i explained beam depth overrun and out of square flanges space space provided between the shop attached plates must be sufficient to permit swinging of the beam into its final position tolerances are given as follows for structural shapes and plates it is given in astm a6 for hss it is in astm 500 for pipes c astm a53 here are the reasons why weight of finish products must be calculated because to provide the check against original material versus actual as built material freight is paid on weight basis the shop shipping department and erectors must know the weights of finished material to prevent overloading of the equipment it is used by management in connection with process of the progress control and cost control and the weight is used for invoicing on unit price contract so the standard process to calculate weight is given in section 9.2 of aist of standard practice so what are bills for shipping and invoicing finished parts so they provide the list of total number of identical pieces to be shipped a brief description of each piece and erection mark and general location of each finish part and weight of each finish piece and total weight to be shipped so here for example the bill of material by sequence is for sequence 1 for job 1847 is been separated uh, so here the mark is c42a and these are three numbers 
and type and size is W12 by 65. Its grade is A992 and its length is given in feet and inches. And this weight is total weight of these three pieces. And here total weight to be shipped is given and total number of shipments are 42 number of pieces. We will see bill of lading. So here, for example, this is the bill of lading for load one, for sequence one, for job 1847 has been separated. And here the name of fabricator sold to company and shipped to the erectors, which erectors that address is given. And this bill of lading lists out the following that is quantity and mark. For example, we will see A290C, its quantities are two. It is for sequence one, and its description is given L 4 by 4 by 3 by 8 inch. Its grade is A36, length in feet and inches. And here the weight of each piece is also given and total weight is also given. So the total weight of 44,100 LB that is 20,000 kg is approaching the limit allowed by the law to be shipped by the truck in use. When the truck arrives at the site, the <clears throat> The person at the site, that is the receiver at the job site, will have to sign this bill of lading in order to acknowledge the receipt of the material. CNC files. CNC, it is computer numeric control, is a method by which steel fabricator sends information to specific semi-automated machinery to perform certain fabrication tasks that tasks include cutting member to length, drilling or punching holes, cutting plates to size, beam copes, long slots, etc. These CNC files are provided automatically by detailing software. The speed and accuracy with which the stru steel structures are erected is a tribute to steel detailers who detail it precisely and to workers who perform the work. Knowledge of shop operations will help steel detailer to know the reasons why many conventional practices are used while detailing the structures. So the knowledge of Equipments of shop operations and facilities will help steel detailers to detail the pieces that can be fabricated economically and with comfort. Or edges, which are often called shops, weighs average 60 to 80 feet in clear weight are serviced by overhead traveling bridge cranes spanning the full width of the bay. At the receiving end of the shop, an area is provided where incoming raw material can be unloaded from the railroad cars or trucks, sorted and sorted until fabrication. At the shipping end of the shop, an area is provided where fabricated members can be loaded onto railroad cars, trucks or barges. There are various fabrication shop operations which include material handling and cutting, template making, laying out, punching and drilling, straightening, bending, rolling and cambering, fitting and rimming, fastening methods, finishing, machine shop operations, cleaning and painting if required, and then shipping. Summary, we have seen the steel production and reference for the steel production. Then 
we have seen reasons for calculation of weights what is bill of shipping bill of lading what is the limit for the truck for shipping the material computer numeric files that is cnc files and processes for fabricating structural steel like drilling punching straightening then what are the methods of connection if there is a required of any paint and shipping like this thank you so much for being with me throughout this video happy learning i'm grateful for your support thank you so much if you find this video useful then please share it will help others and subscribe to get notified about the new videos these these are some of the references i used to study about the production of steel and fabrication of steel processes and these are the links for the images i request you to please watch the video for steel production that is steel from start to finish and the video of fabrication of steel process in this video you will get to watch all the processes that are performed in the fabrication shop so please watch it will help you to clarify your concepts this is the aisc committee who prepared the manual detailing for steel construction and this completes our chapter 1 called introduction from the manual detailing for steel construction